This demonstration will show how IBM Connections and the connectors that are available in your desktop applications can be used to work with content stored in IBM FileNet Content Manager and other enterprise document repositories. I will start by showing the widget that's available within the Connections Communities web UI. You can see here I've logged into Communities as Samantha Darren, and I've gone to My Communities, which shows the communities that I belong to. If I go into my community, I'll be shown all of the applications that have been added to this community that allow me to collaborate with other members of this community using some of the common social tools that we have available. If you look over on the right, you'll see the custom library widget, which is pointing to a library on the ECM repository called Legal. I can open this library by either clicking on the name in the library widget overview page or by going to the navigation on the left hand side. Once the widget opens, you'll see a table layout that shows all the content that's stored in this library on the ECM repository. You can navigate through folders to see the documents in a hierarchical structure. And you can also create content very easily. For example, if I want to create a new folder called press releases, I can do that very simply through the dialog and then the content gets added directly and is visible through uh, the widget here. I can also upload files. So say I've been working on a document on my desktop that I want to upload to this uh, library. I can add that document by going to the upload file action, selecting the document on my file system. I can enter in additional metadata such as title and description as well as document type that will dictate which properties are shown below. This document type is pre-selected to project document, which is the default for this library in ECM. And you can see there are several fields here. One is required, so I'll fill in that field. The other is not required, but has a default setting. Once I fill in the metadata, I can choose to either check in the document or save it as a draft. If I was to save this document as a draft, it would only be visible to me and there would be special visual indicators on the document in the, in the web UI to indicate that it is in a draft state. For now, I'll go ahead and check in the document. Now this is actually going to go and upload the document to the ECM repository directly. However, we can also see it here through our widget. If you want to open the document in the widget, you can simply click on the title and this will open up the document summary page which allows you to do some of the most common actions on the document, as well as see some additional metadata, download the file, um, as well as see the version of history. Now, if I want to see this document in the ECM repository, I can click on this link, Open an Enterprise Document Server, and this will take me to the Workplace XT web UI, which, allow, which will allow me to do some of the more advanced ECM capabilities on this document. Now let's say I want to make a change to this document after I've uploaded it to the library. To do that, I'd simply click on Edit Document, and this will launch the document through the connectors directly into Microsoft Word. So from here, I can make any changes that I need to make and save the file. When it gets saved, it will actually be uploaded to the library as a draft and from this point, I can go into the Places side shelf here and click Check In, and this will actually check the document in. So once I go back to the web UI, I'll be able to see that the document was updated and additionally, a version was created. Now let's say I don't want to work in the web UI. I've actually been working on a document on my server and I want to be able to upload these uh, several documents at once into a team place folder. So here you can see I have configured some libraries in my connectors on my Windows Explorer and one of those is the legal library on the server. So you can see here it has the new folder that I've created as well as the document that I just uploaded as well as the other content that existed in the library. Now, if I want to upload these three documents to the press releases folder, 
I can do this very easily by dragging and dropping from my folder on my desktop to the folder through my connector. Now what this is going to do is it's going to prompt me for metadata because the document type has required metadata. And I can fill these out several ways. I can either do this one document at a time by entering in the information and saying next file, in which case it will upload that file and continue on to the next. Or I can enter the metadata and click the checkboxes to apply the same properties to all of the remaining files and then I can click finish and at this point it will go through the remaining files and upload them to that folder. So if I go here to press releases I'll now see the three new files that I've uploaded. Now let's say we want to go over to our notes or our, our email client. One of the things we have in the connectors is a side shelf that allows us to see a similar list of places that we have configured. Um, again, we have the legal library here, which has, if I refresh here, will have the content that I just added, the press releases. Now, one thing I can do here is I can create a new email. And let's say I want to send this to somebody and I want to send them the document that I just uploaded, or any document. I can then drag that document over to my new email and what that will do is create a document card that will not actually attach the document in the email but it will have this these links that allow the user to easily open or download and work with the content. However, if I want to actually attach the document in the email, I can simply say copy and paste and this will actually include the document as an attachment on the email. This is really handy if you're working with people outside of the firewall that the connection server is on um, so you can easily send them the content without having to uh, download it directly to your system before you copy it. One of the other neat things you can do is you can drag content from your emails into an ECM repository. So here I've gotten an attach an email with an attachment and if I want to put that uh, attachment back into the repository you can see here that the file name is going to be the same as one that already exists so I could have sent this file out to um, somebody I'm working with and they may have updated it and attached it back in an email and if I drop it here it will detect that the file already exists and ask me if I want to replace it at which point I would say OK, it checks it in as a draft, and from here I can directly check in the document. You can also, in addition to dragging attachments, drag an entire email. So here I have an email, it doesn't have any attachments, but I can drag it over to this library, drop it, and it will actually upload that document to that library. It's prompted me for the properties there, which I've there are no required properties so I just checked in and then you can see here the document was added to the library and from there I can open it directly from the side shelf. So these are some of the ways that you can work with ECM content through the IBM Connections web UI as well as the desktop connectors.